Hi everyone and welcome to my place. You know, for reasons I do not know, I do not like seeing artificial stems through a clear glass vase. I've tried to get my way, put my, you know, get my head around how to get away from this get over yourself moments. So what I do invariably when I'm faced with these problems is unless I'm putting fresh in with artificial, I like to do something to the outside of the vase. Now I've had lots of requests asking, can you decoupage vases? Well, yes, you can. And I've done a couple of other videos on how to decoupage, but I'll just quickly brief you on how you do it. Now, it, you just get a, a paper serviette that's got a print of your of a design and style that you like, and they usually come with three layers. So take the two underneath backing layers off, like so. You can use this for whatever you like, but I don't want that today. And then it's just a matter of ripping. You can cut if you wanted to. I prefer to rip because then you get a, you don't get that sort of, you can get a straight line that's hard to sort of blend and merge together. So just by taking those off and ripping these into this, into workable sections, the better it's going to be. Now I've got some here that are all ready to go and I'll just explain, I'll just quickly show you how you can turn this vase. Now with this vase here, what I did with it was, I was being very clever one day and I put some gold leaf around the top of it. Well, it was fine until I was a bit rough and then some of the gold leaf has come off. So I'm just gonna leave it on here and I'm gonna cover it up. Okay, getting, two getting a towel and rolling it on both sides, I then put just a little piece, so you've got a nice little divity bit in there or a nice little trench to lay your vase. I've also put a little bit of baking or parchment paper down there, just so that nothing sticks to it. From there, get rid of that. It's just a matter of using, you can buy the coupage glue if you don't have access to that just use Mod Podge and go half Mod Podge, half water or everyday ordinary PVA or craft glue that the kids use at school will do the job nicely. Right, it's then just a matter of, and what I love about this is you get this fabulous texture. So start, I always like to start at the bottom and then take that all the way up there and then just getting your little pieces that you've cut out and then just laying those down onto there like so and then getting your brush and then just taking that up and over there. And I really love working with botanicals when I'm doing vases because if you work it, work it out or whatever you're putting into there, it can actually be this beautiful botanicals going up into your arrangement. Now this has got lovely maidenhair leaves on it, um, maidenhair fern little wee leaves and fronds onto it. And sometimes that, taking that up and then having nice maiden hair over the edges of your vase with something can look really attractive. When it comes to putting the next bit on, so go up to the top here. I liked, you can get this, but I don't like that bit. As I said, I don't like the bits that are, see look, just putting that onto there like that and then just brushing that across there. Now when it dries, because you've got that lovely white paper, and just work your way all around, this is the end result. Look at that, isn't that lovely? It's almost like the vase has been frosted because of the lovely white paper underneath. And the other thing that I love about this finish is you've got like there's little bits where you've got the light frosted bits and then you've got the, the other little shades, tones and tints of that and variants of that color. So there you have a vase and when you put your flowers into it, you cannot see the stems. Perfect solution. The other thing I like to do to the vase when I'm finished with it is give it another good coat or two of your Mod Podge or your PVA glue or your um, decoupage glue and just leave it to, to completely dry and that will help to seal it. The other thing that you can do is when you're sick of that design, soak it in hot soapy water and that will all just come off 
that is clever ways of utilizing our vase if you've only got one vase in your house and you want to change it up. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you again another day. Thank you.